Hey, this is again, guys. So, um, yesterday I got an email from Triple X T Illusion Triple X, um, requesting a introduction tutorial using Adobe After Effects. Okay, so this is gonna be the introduction tutorial. Now it's going to be a basic one. Um, this should be in two different parts because create an introduction um, takes around 20 minutes and keeping it within the 10 minute YouTube limit range is a kind of hard alright so first of all if you're new to Adobe After Effects and don't know what stuff does what the project window this keeps record of all the files that you import and drag into the program just like your library in Photoshop um, down here is your layers all of your layers will be listed here um, you can choose them to be 3D, you can turn the effects on and you can make them visible, mute them, lock them, lock the layers and this is your timeline alright and if you want to you can zoom into your frame level so you can see it more specific alright so first of all we need to create a new composition so you just click composition at the top and new composition you can also press control and the shortcut uh, so as for a composition then, um, I'll use an insert introduction and the preset the preset is the size of the canvas a lot of people use like NTSC D1 widescreen um, I use custom because because it's a YouTube video if I make it a widescreen then my video will be stretched in height so the standard YouTube video size is 640 by 480 and if you do use custom make sure you untick lock aspect ratio okay okay and the next one is duration I set it to 15 seconds you can always change this later on alright so okay now as you can see as I make the window smaller it always shows 100% of the canvas no matter how small it is usually if you zoom out using your scroll wheel on your mouse then when you do stretch the window it cuts half it off you know and to stop this and get it how it back originally here you'll see a percentage it should be 100 as you start off and just select fit and there will show 100% of the canvas no matter how small it is alright so first of all we need a background layer so I'll right click in the project window so right click import and file now I'll just select some textures um, grayscale and I will choose texture number 3 um, the textures I have are from the evolution um, preset package from videocopilot.com alright so if you just highlight this it will show you its size you know resolution its name alright so I just drag this in now to scale this down I'll just zoom out and just position it alright now again I'll select fit okay now as you can see it's just black and white Okay, we'll add some color to that. Now what you need to do is in your layer area, just right click, select new and solid. Uh, it doesn't matter what width and height. Um, just select any color, I'll make it black. Now I'll press OK. Now don't change the size or anything. Alright, just highlight the black solid. Um, drag it to the bottom. And on your background layer, here you should see mode change the mode to overlay now you will see it's just black now again highlight the black solid go into effect generate and ramp now you can see it's got a black to white gradient effect and you can see the background in the well you can see the background image in the background okay now the star color I'd like to be a, a light green and the end color I'd like to be black 
Alright, now I changed the ramp shape from linear to radial. And if you want to show more green, then you just increase the end of ramp and decrease it to minimize the green. Alright, and I'll just use that for the moment. Okay. Now I just close this once I'm finished. Now again in the layer area just right click select a new and solid I'll choose black color make comp size okay and I'll minimize it we'll just scale it down in height make it a bit wider and I'll just rotate it a bit okay now as you can see my tools at the top aren't there at the moment um, that was because in a previous tutorial I accidentally removed them so in window you should see all the different windows now tools this should be it yeah they can see ok now I don't know how I'm going to get them in there uh, I'll just leave it as that so you just press W for the rotate tool or you can just click the icon up there I'll just rotate a bit not too much there that should do now I just drag it down you can position it anywhere on the screen alright now I'll highlight the layer that you just created which is a black solid hold control and press D 